Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and for this evening, I'm your entertainment. My name is Ryan Saplin, and I'm going to attempt to make the newlyweds disappear with some magic. Uh, believe it or not, me and Jay are actually used to perform uh, magic as kids. Uh, I'm not going to really make them disappear, but the truth is, is that it actually kind of worked to impress other people, our friends and family members. To a lot of people, I'm sure we look like dorks, but it was definitely something that we enjoyed. And uh, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, I'm going to share some stuff today. Stuff that's uh, mostly bad stuff about JR. Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep this short, but uh, today's a really great day. we got two people coming together, getting married, sharing their love with us. Uh, we have the beautiful Barbara, and of course we have JR. JR and I met through similar circumstances that uh, he met Barbara, and that's uh, through a mutual friend. Ryan Buenafe was the uh, was my, my best friend in 8th grade. Uh, we met, and uh, he knew a guy that played a lot of magic, and I was really into magic at the time, and that's kind of what, that's how I met JR. We met through a game. Um, I remember way back when, when uh, we used to live, I used to live in Westlake. My younger brother and I would we'd walk from Westlake Shopping Center up John Daly Boulevard and, and crossing um, Junipero Serra, and we would go over there where Comey and uh, Sentry is right now, uh, and play in his garage. Played a lot of magic. Our friendship started because of a game, and interestingly enough, uh, Barbara and JR's relationship grew from a game. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, a lot of you know this, is that JR actually is really into video games. And um, actually at one point, here's a fun fact, JR used to be one of the number one ranked players in uh, World of Warcraft, a guild leader. Um, pretty impressive for a game that has 10 million users. So that's how we met. That's how our relationship started, our friendship started. Uh, but we didn't really grow uh, close until much later in life. The next five years would prove to be very life-altering. Uh, arguably, this is the period of time where you change the most from 13 years old all the way up to about 18 or 20. Adolescence, you, puberty, uh, girls growing up. Uh, and this is about the time when you become a pain in the butt for your parents. Um, but more than that, a series of circumstances would occur that bring us closer together. And it gets kind of sad, but it's part of our life journey and kind of what we've we've met. And that's uh, two years later, I lose, my, I tragically lose my mom, and I have to move away uh, to Fairfield. I grew up all in Daly City my whole life, and had to move to Fairfield. And uh, for my high school, my sophomore year, a year after that, uh, Ryan Buenafe, the the best friend of mine that uh, introduces me to JR, uh, moves away to the Philippines, sort of suddenly. And then uh, a year after that, or two years after, I think junior year, uh, JR and BN's uh, middle brother, uh, Joven, passes away. And the circumstances for all our family changes and um, separations and uh, loss and tragedy kind of puts us in a kind of awkward, uh, awkward feeling, awkward moment because everything happens in such a short period of time. I was talking to JR the other day and I was thinking, I was saying, man, we've been through a crap load of stuff together. JR found himself moving uh, to Pinole, uh, 30 minutes closer to Fairfield. We shared uh, adolescence, we shared these tragedies, and as a kid you don't really see these things, the forest before the trees, so to speak, but if Ryan were here, he, uh, he would say, if life gives you lemons, uh, make lemonade. As a kid trying to make sense of it all, it's sad, but we don't know any better. We just have our own way of dealing with difficult circumstances. Neither of us knew knew this at the time, but we would build a we would become the best of friends. It's during all our shenanigans that we grow a really amazing friendship. Online dating with America online instant messenger, trying to get buff in the gym, a 24-hour fitness, stuffing our face at hometown buffet, uh, we've made a crap load of mistakes and a lot of bad decisions. What makes JR and I polar opposites is his lightheartedness and sense of humor. He's always trying to get you to laugh. He's fun, always, 
Always loves to eat, play games, and plenty of sarcastic humor too. He's great to be around, and, and chances are that's why the beautiful Barbara is by his side. That's why we all showed up. Um, isn't the bride gorgeous? Let's get take a look at these girls, the, the bridesmaid, maid of honor, and Barbara. Let's give them a round of applause. They're absolutely stunning this evening. You only meet a handful of people in your life, like JR, the people you grow up with during your teenage years are few and far between. People you haven't seen in years but then can pick up right where you left off in grade school. In so many ways we change as we as we grow older but there are core parts of us that remain the same. I've always uh, prided myself of being, at being the clever one, the ambitious the ambitious one trying to build a f building a family was never one of my priorities. I wanted to climb the corporate ladder and, and build a business but that was uh, that has proven itself to be uh, kind of not exactly what I had planned. Instead, uh, I was lucky enough to meet a wonderful wife and have three beautiful children, and I can't believe I have three kids. Uh, JR always has known what he wanted. Well, JR has always known what's important to him, so I wanted to thank thank you, JR. You were right. It's, it's an amazing honor to be here, to be your best man, and to the bride, Barbara, I know you are a perfect fit. I don't remember JR being being more happy. This is a great day. The the joining of the two houses, House Barbara and House Angelo. In a recent conversation with uh, with a good friend of mine, uh, got us talking about relationships and, and happiness. And I said that uh, life isn't about happiness. And it, it was sort of interesting because for so long we we think that that's what life is about. It's about trying to be happy and. The truth is that life is not always about being happy. There's there's ups and there's downs. There's challenges. There's good times. There are bad times. Uh, not not everyone lives forever. And um, it's during these periods of time that we grow, that we learn, and we change. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. But it's that sharing it with another person that you love, someone that you care about. And in this situation right here, in in this in this wonderful event. Uh, it's a really great place to be because you know you'll see a lot of people you haven't seen in a long time. Um, I'm one of those people. I mean, I don't live in this area, and I'm, you might see me in passing, but you never have a chat with me, and that's kind of weird because you know that's, I'm the best man here, and it's kind of cool because you know I would never expected that this would be something that I would do, and it's kind of cool because I really like that this is a, a this is a really great event. You know, so take the time to connect with other people because this is an absolutely amazing event with with everyone that's just you know everyone's feeling the just how everything is with these two families coming together because you know they're gonna they're gonna build a great family they have a great family as it is and it's just yeah that you're all here and then just as kind of as a final toast I want to say <coughs> um, uh, JR and Angelo uh, Angelo and Barbara uh, may you have the best and um, Thank you very much. I like that happy part. What happy part? Yeah, life is not about happiness, it's about sharing. Thank you. That's with people you love. It is. I think you need to. I think you need to.